Storms Tech Channel here, and today I'm doing a video about T Mobile. So I'm more funny when you come here. And so it looks like T Mobile has suffered another uh, data breach. So uh, this sucks ass. So if you guys have T Mobile, you guys need to pay attention to this to see if you guys have been affected by this. Hopefully, not. Hopefully, the who uh, hopefully that whoever was affected by this data breach has has it um has been settled so oh uh, yeah this sucks ass this is like the second time within like a year that t-mobile has had a data breach so um that sucks and that is very concerning as well uh so let's go ahead and check this out so it says that t-mobile confirms huge new security breach claims no financial information was compromised all right So it says here, I guess, I guess this, up, this article has been updated here, so the update here on the top says here, shortly after T-Mobile formally confessed to yet another security mishap, the Wall Street Journal issued a new report providing additional context and a, new, and a few details the wireless service provider initially left out. The most worrying e e revelation is by far the total number of customers reportedly affected by the breach, closely followed by the period of time during which hackers were unnoticed while accessing and stealing people's data. While the problem was discovered on January 5th and fixed within 24 hours of said discovery, the breach originally dates back to November 25th, yes, 2022, which is why it's not exactly shocking to hear that about 37 million of T-Mobile's 110 plus customers were victimized during this extended time frame. So, it looks like 37 million T-Mobile customers were affected by this. Um, this data breach should have been going on for like the last two months or so because it says it was discovered on January 5th, 2023. But the originated breach was dates back to November 25th, 2022. So I think that's the day after Thanksgiving, so that's kind of interesting there. It says that naturally the FCC is not on the case opening an investigation into what rightfully being described as quote the latest in a string of data breaches at the company end quote. Our original story follows below. Timo has had Timo has sure has had its fair share of data breaches in recent years, making headlines for all the wrong reasons. A lot more frequently than Verizon, than, than Verizon and AT and T. And to its credit, the uncarrier appears to be handling the latest such situation admirably and unusually well. For one thing, Magenta is coming clean to officially confirm in detail the nature and causes of this newly discovered security incident before customers can complain or hackers can brag to the press about the success of their of their nefarious enterprises. It's certainly nice to get clear information directly from your mobile network operator ahead of anyone else in these cases and it's especially nice when said information includes a lot of good news, considering, because data breaches are not good, they're bad, they can be dangerous and shit. So, yeah, I think I'm reading the official. Uh, all right. It says, while the number of 
impacted customers. T-Mobile is currently in the process. It says while the number of impacted customers, T-Mobile is currently in the process of informing about this breach remains unknown. By far the best news delivered today is that new passwords, payment card information, social security numbers, government ID numbers, or other financial account information appears to have been compromised this time around. So that's good on that, but still data breaches are bad no matter how the how severity they are. These are easily the most sensitive types of data the hackers could get their hands on when something like this happens. So T-Mobile definitely deserves praise for managing to keep all that protected. On not on the not so bright side of things, quite some basic customer information was breached, and as hard as Magenta might try to minimize the importance of keeping soft like names, billing addresses, emails, phone numbers, birth dates, account numbers, and the number of lines on an account and service plan features private. It's totally not cool to know that someone can access to all that without your approval. There's obviously no need to change any passwords or take any special security measures if you're, if you're notified of a breach on your account at least if T-Mobile doesn't discover anything new and rationally different in the near future. For the time being, the nation's second largest wireless carrier. For the time being, the nation's second largest wireless service provider seems pretty confident. That, pretty confident that the issue was permanently shut down and all the danger removed within 24 hours of initially identifying. The breach caused by a single API, that is the application programming interface, deployed by an unna- by an unnamed bad actor, basically a hacker. T-Mobile network and systems themselves were at no point breached in this particular cyber attack, and the uncarrier is even giving itself a nice and hearty pat on the back for preventing the most sensitive types of customer information from being accessed. Presumably with the help of tools and policies developed and improved in the wake of previous incidents. So, um, so T-Mobile has had another data breach. Which have had, they've had like a few, uh, they have like a few, they've had like a few of them in like the last couple of years, so. This seems to be like a normal thing for T-Mobile, which sucks for customers, because their information could be stolen and shit, like. I don't know why people have to do stupid shit like this, I don't know why people have to get do stupid shit like this, I don't know why, I don't know why they can't just act normal and just fucking leave people shit alone. This is getting ridiculous. Uh, it seems like T-Mobile is having data breaches more than T-Mobile. It looks like the T-Mobile is having more data breaches than Verizon and also AT&T. So, what does that tell you? I don't know. Hopefully, that the uh, customers affected by this data breach, by this data breach, have gotten their uh, issues fixed, and hopefully, that this never happens again. Which I say that now, then we get another data breach down the line, which it sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, if you guys have not been affected, uh, you can take security steps to protect yourself. Uh, if you can, uh, if you can enable two-step verification on your T-Mobile account, go ahead and do so. Enable two-step verification on your uh, on your bank statements, credit cards. Um, email uh anything any account that you have if you guys can enable two step verification go ahead and do so um you know um I don't even know T Mobile has two step verification. I d I I don't even know if they have it or not. 
They should have it if they don't have it already. They should enable. They should add two-step verification to customers' accounts. They should. Um, you know this. You know this sucks. And uh, T-Mobile claims that no financial information was compromised. That's what they claim, but you know. So yeah, I mean this sucks. Uh, hopefully that everyone who was affected by this got their issues fixed, and uh, hopefully T-Mobile will and will do better by protecting their customers, improving security, and shit like that. And hopefully that other carriers will learn from this, and hopefully they will, hopefully that they will improve their security and protect their customers as well. So we'll see about that. So data breaches suck ass, they do suck. Don't matter the severity of the uh, breach, it sucks ass. It doesn't matter how many people are affected by it, it sucks ass. And people need to stop doing stupid shit like this, people need to stop doing that shit. People need to go get a fucking life, do something positive for themselves and shit, not try to fucking screw people over and shit. Like, it's fucking stupid, man. This shit needs to stop, and uh, it needs to fucking stop now because this is getting ridiculous. But I mean, it is what it is, guys. You know, just like I said, you can protect yourself by enable two step verification on your accounts, like your credit cards, bank, uh, social media. Uh, you know, you should be able to enable two-step verification on your T-Mobile account. They shouldn't have an option to do that, which I don't have to do or not. So, um, yeah. Just try to protect yourself as much as you can. And, uh, yeah. So that is pretty much it. It sucks that T-Mobile has had another data breach. Hopefully that other carriers will, uh, Learn from this and hopefully that other carriers will protect the customers better and improve security on their end. But we'll see about that. So, uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. If it, it, it really helps me out a lot, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.